Money doing this time I am a handicap artist. I, I, I am a hard worker. Although I'm handicap, I never get nothing stop me cause cause to God I could do all things. Um I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my story and, and how I become di how I became disabled. Um when my mom was pregnant with me, uh, she was she was on her way to Bahamas and she was on the airplane, but the but she was about to have me in the airplane, but but then they didn't get people have kids on the airplane, so so they gave my mom a shot, and that shot helped my mom to hold me in a, a little bit much longer, so. Um, um, and, and then, so, 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 when she, so, when she off the airplane, they rushed her to the hospital at Bahamas, and then I was born, and, but when I was born, I was born, yeah, every other baby, it's, it took me, I mean, I was, I believe I was, I've been 16 days in a coma. I mean, the, the doctors thought I wasn't going to make it. And but, and but my mom kept on praying and asking God, please, please, and please give my son another thing. Because, you know, she was afraid I was her first child. She never had a child before, so she prayed and prayed, and then after after 16 days in a coma, God gave me a second chance, and then I just thank God for that. And then um, as I start growing up, um, I didn't walk till I was five years old, cause. Because I was disabled, and then I, I remember when I was at three years old, they kicked me out of preschool because I couldn't walk. Because uh, at Bahamas, they didn't, if you can't walk and you can't do nothing back then, you can't, you can't go to school. So, so they kicked me out of school, and then. I remember staying with my grandma, and she told me, don't never give up. She always be the one that will always try to encourage me and, and tell me to never give up and keep all my hope on God and God. And then, and then she also taught me how to pray, and then I started praying, and then, oh my God. Oh my God, can you make me walk? Please, I want to walk. And then, by 85, I know I just stood up and start walking. I mean, I mean, God had done so much for me. And then, I remember when I was six years old, I, went, I started going to school. I was so happy. I remember first day after school, I. I call my grandma and say, Grandma, Grandma, guess what? I'm going to school now. So I was so happy. Uh, but, uh, 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 but when I went to school, um, a lot of kids didn't understand why I was so different from everybody else because I was walking funny, I was talking funny. I mean, some people thought I was faking there. I was just kid faking. I remember they used to push me down. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not faking. Just the way I am, so. And so, um, and then they start to understand. And, and then, I mean, after that, once you get to know me, you see that I'm a good 
posting and all that. Um, I got a great personality. One thing about me, I never give up. And then, so on, as, as I started growing up, I remember I entered middle school. I didn't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I mean, um, I remember I used to be stealing cuz I'm like, God, why you put me here? Ain't nothing I can't do. I can't. I can't be that everybody else. But I remember in middle school, I took this art class, and then I started painting. I'm like, wow, I am real, real good. I'm, and then I started painting, and then my art teacher was like, you got a gift. You are real good in and art. So I kept on painting, painting, and then I was, I did this painting, my first painting. I came in second place in the school competition. I remember that day I was so happy. I'm like, well, me coming in second place, I will never, never, ever see that coming. Because I'm disabled, I'll never see a kid like me coming go on anything so I said I believe I believe God gave me a gift to paint and show people how to no matter what condition you is you still could you still could do your dream you could you could be anybody you want to. So if you out there and you and you going through some stuff I mean, I mean, yeah, things are going wrong. But remember, it's all going to be a good thing. I mean, I mean your still will help others. And, and good things will happen to you. I remember by the age of 16 years old, I gave my life to God. Oh my God. God, I surrender. He's done so much things for me. Ain't no way I can't go on without serving you. So everything I do, I thank God because I remember 16, I mean, I remember, I remember my mom was telling me that the doctor told my mom, I wasn't gonna make it. I was supposed to be dead, but look at me. I'm still living. I'm still a living testimony, and I'm still gonna glorify God through everything, everything He's doing through my life. So, like I said, no matter what you're going through in life, and no matter what the circumstances, don't give up. Um. Also, uh, if you see my website, my website is johnsonartwork.tensorsense.com. I mean, you will see you will see all my artwork and see everything about me. So check it out when you can. Um, also, if you want, like I said, don't never give up. And, and have a good day.